depending on various classification criteria, solid state relays are of different types. In this video, we're gonna go over a bunch of different types of SSR according to these following standards. Number one, type of low power supply. Solid state relays can be divided into DC solid state relays and AC solid state relays in terms of low power supply. DC SSRs use power semiconductor transistors such as BJT, MOSFET, IGBT as switching components to control the on-off state of DC low power, while AC solid state relays use thyristors such as triac SCR as switching elements to control the on-off state of the AC low power supply. They cannot be mixed. Number 2. Switch Type According to switch type, SSR switches can be classified into normally open and normally closed solid state relays. The normally open type turns into conduction mode only when the control signal is applied to the input terminal, while the normally closed type is disconnected on the output end when the input terminal is applied with the input signal. Number 3. Coupling method In light of coupling methods, solid state relays can be divided into hybrid types, transformer coupled types, photocoupled types, and read types. Hybrid type solid state relays employ read switches or miniature electromagnetic relays as isolating components between input and output. In transformer coupled SSR, a small DC current is supplied to the primary of the transformer through a DC to AC converter. This current is then converted to AC and stepped up to operate the solid state device as well as triggering circuit. The photocouple type, also known as optocouple type, represents the most widely used isolation method where the optocoupler is used as the isolator. The optocoupler relies on light as a medium to transmit electrical signals. For this type of SSR, the photosensitive semiconductor is used for performing the switching operation. Read relay coupling solid state relays utilize read switches as the isolator when the input signal is applied directly or through the preamplifier to the coil of the read relay, the read switch will be turned on at once and the thruster will be triggered to conduct the circuit path. Number 4. Switch Mode Based on switch mode, AC solid state relays can be classified into zero crossing, random turn on and peak turn on types. The difference between them lies in the conduction condition, or in other words, the timing of turn on and turn off of the load AC current. In case of zero crossing AC solid state relays, when the input signal is applied, this type of SSRs will not turn on until the load voltage reaches the zero zone. The random turn on SSR switch is characterized by fast response speed, as it will immediately conduct the load as long as there's an input signal applied regardless of the state of low voltage. Therefore, they're also known as instantaneous turn-on or instant-on solid-state relays. Peak turn-on AC solid-state relays are also referred to as peak switching AC solid-state relays or peak fire AC solid-state relays. When the input control signal is applied, this type of SSR relay will be turned on at the first peak of the AC output voltage so that the inrush current gets reduced. If the input control signal is removed, the relay will be turned off. Number 5. Phase According to the phase of the AC power supply, AC SSR can be divided into single phase types and three phase types. Number 6. Installation method According to the installation method, solid state relays can be divided into surface mount solid state relays, DIN rail mount solid state relays, and printed circuit board mount solid state relays. PCB mount SSRs can be further divided into socket mount SSRs or plugging mount type and bracket mount SSR or flange mount type. Plugging solid state relays can be directly soldered on the printed circuit board, dissipating heat through natural cooling without the need for heat sink, whereas flange mount solid state relays require additional metal plates or heat sinks for heat dissipation. Number 7. Applications Solid state relays are different from one to another in light of their purposes. We have general purpose solid state relays for common use, bi directional transmission solid state relays that allow circulation of current in both directions, automotive solid state relays featuring a hybrid integrated circuit that are designed specifically for the automobile industry, as well as latching solid state relays which can maintain conduction even if disconnected from the control current 
and can only be switched off by applying reverse current. Number eight, performance. Different solid state relays can deliver various performance. Based on this criterion, there are standard solid state relays and industrial solid state relays. The standard type is generally rated at 10 to 120 amps. By contrast, the ratings of industrial SSRs are much larger, which range from 60 amps to 2,000 amps or more. That's why industrial solid state relays can meet the demanding requirements of industrial situations and machinery. So there you have it, folks. A detailed description of the classification of solid state relays. Hope this video would help you in picking between many different options for solid state switching on the market. And as always, if you're just in need of an inexpensive solid state relay solution, please go to ATO.com, one of the top sources for industrial automation hardware on the internet. Check out more information and updated pricing by the link in the description box below. Thanks to you all. Until next time.